Hi, this is James Gardner, this is New Tech Geek, and today at CinemaCon 2013, I've managed to capture a man I've been trying to interview for a long time. Uh, this, his name is John Hurst, and he actually wrote uh, ASDCP Lib. Now, this is a very important, and, and, and it's probably one of the key bits of open source code, which is in every digital cinema equipment uh, that's made and and this guy wrote the open source or the, the source code that goes into it and We should you know, like I've always been very like you know, to me He's a bit of a rock star in this sort of my sort of era. It's true John you are and, and, but so, so tell me how did you get into to making that library? What what brought you to write ASDCP lib? Uh, I was actually unemployed at the time uh, between jobs and digital cinema uh, development and I was approached by uh, Jim Whittlesey and Howard Luck from DCI who recognized that having an open source implementation of the MXF track file would help speed adoption and interoperability of uh, the digital cinema file formats across the industry. And that's exactly, I can't agree more. It's why we are here today in digital cinema. So thank you very much, John. So, so what are you doing now uh, with all this super knowledge you have in the industry? Well, we still have, uh, we still uh, uh, work on uh, extending the library. We still make it available as open source, but we've built an entire business on top of that of consulting services and commercial software packages that are used by uh, digital cinema distribu distributors, mastering houses, studios, digital intermediate facilities to create digital cinema packages, manage keys. Uh, and also, of course, we're uh, still uh, active as a DCI test lab, uh, testing equipment uh, for compliance to the DCI specification uh, as required by a lot of theaters before they'll buy equipment. Yeah, so, so just so there's a t CTP, is it called? Uh, the Compliance Test Plan. Yeah, yeah com com Compliance Test Plan. This guy also wrote that, and it's an amazingly complex and technical document that I've read a tried to read a few times it even blows my mind but thank you for that too I but had a lot of help writing that I, that was not a solo endeavor by any stretch of the imagination we had several employees who dedicated months of work to, to putting that book together yeah, and so that test plan basically anyone who's who wants to certify their equipment for DCI has to basically go through this document and make sure that their equipment answers all those tests I have it in dead tree form if you want to see it uh, uh, oh, is, that, is that it there yeah, that, that's it there bring it over here I almost stole it <laughs> uh, we discovered a place that would uh, make it easy for us to print these uh, for 35 bucks a piece and it, wow, it, really, it, it really helps get across the, the sort of level of stuff that's in there and, and what, what all is involved with uh, complying with it. Now just before we go I just want to mention uh, I've done a video uh, for CineCert which is John Hurst's company about one of his products uh, and it's a it's quite in depth uh, Michael helped me do it and it's one of the the things that John's been writing lately it's an it's an amazing little product that covers the comp, you know the sort of technologies that he is an expert in and he's a, he's the go-to guy if you want to do it so thank you John thanks You're for welcome. being on one of my videos thanks for once for anyway that's James Gardner for the Cine Tech Geek bye for now